Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today we're going to be talking about my all-time favorite cutting mat. So if you have been watching any of my videos for the past like few years, you've seen this amazing cutting mat on my table. Now I have two IKEA tabletops that I have basically attached together. I have legs underneath supporting everything so it's nice and sturdy but it gives me a really big nice work surface. I wanted to cover my entire work surface with some sort of a cutting or you know something like that so that I don't have to be fiddling around with small cutting mats all the time and I can just kind of make use of my entire table. So enter the big mat rotary cutting surface right here. It's been perfect. It's almost exactly the same size as my table. There's just a little bit of kind of edge around it so it's perfect. I can use my entire table. I can cut all over. I can, you know, without worrying about messing up my table. So today we're going to be unboxing a new one. I've had my current one for about, I want to say like three years or something like that and I love it so much but I wasn't very good at taking care of it and so I have a new one here so I'm going to unbox it and kind of show you guys all the details, what it comes with, how to use it and where you can get one. Oh and I forgot to mention that they do come in a lot of different sizes. So this size that I have is not even their largest size. They have another size up. I'll try and put all of the sizes right here on the video screen for you, but you can always visit their website and see what sizes they have available that will fit your needs best. So let's go ahead and unroll this guy and see what it looks like. So mine is the 40 by 72 inch size. That fits almost perfectly on my table here. And then before I unroll it, all of their mats come with some supplies. So let's get these out. So your mat is gonna come with three different little inserts here. The first one is a scraper. Now this isn't your typical self-healing cutting mat. Self-healing cutting mats are mats that are really like soft and kind of porous and when you cut along them it actually pushes the fibers down inside those grooves. And then the mats will kind of close over those fibers and kind of in essence sort of self-heal themselves so that you can't see that um, cut anymore. And those work really well for quite a while until you've been using them for a while and then it's just kind of like, I mean there's only so many times they can self-heal themselves. So this one's a little bit different. When you're cutting your fibers don't actually get pushed down into the mat at all. Um, they stay on the surface of the mat and so you can just wipe them right away. You will get little cut marks in it if you're using a rotary blade that's not very sharp. Um, and so you do want to make sure that your rotary blades are sharper but you'll just kind of get those cut marks in it. You don't actually get like the fibers getting stuck in it like you'll see in traditional cutting mats. So that's just kind of the difference between this rotary cutting surface and a self-healing mat. So as far as care goes for this one, it is gonna come with this, what's it called, a uh, big mat scraper. And it's basically an acrylic block. And it comes with instructions, but I'll take it out here. So here's what it looks like. It's just an acrylic block and it basically removes raised cut marks on your surface. And in order to use it, you're just gonna hold it at a 45 degree angle and then scrape back and forth over your work area. And it just helps kind of smooth any kind of cuts that you have um, or anything like that that you might've created. Now, I will highly recommend that you change out your rotary blades often because the sharper your blades are, the better it is for your mat. If you have really dull blades, then that also means that you're pressing really hard when you're cutting and then that's gonna leave any mat that you use um, kind of in bad shape so keep your rotary blades sharp if they're sharp you don't have to press very hard and you aren't gonna be creating those really um, deep divots in your um, cutting surface but if you do the big mat comes with this little scraper and like I said you just scrape it right along the mat and it just kind of smooths any of those little cut marks that you may have had right back down and it'll even kind of clean it up on my previous mat you know I had every now and then you'll get some marks on it and stuff like that and these have actually kind of scraped the marks off so you can also wipe it down with a damp cloth I've done that as well if you get like um, you know sometimes my sewing machine will leave little marks where the feet were and things like that it's also going to come with this handy little ruler kind of, it's a ruler grip for your ruler. And I'll show you how to use that here in just a second. But it's basically a ruler stabilizer. And so you'll just put this on your mat. You can line it up with the bottom of your mat. And so then you can put your ruler right um, alongside of it and it'll just keep it nice and straight. And I'll show you how to use that once we get our mat unrolled. And then it also comes with a few extra self-adhesive strips. I mean, these actually last really long. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't actually use this that much because I'm usually cutting 
so many different directions on my mat and um, so I haven't used this a whole lot but it is handy if you're really wanting those straight cuts especially if you're cutting yardage or something like that they also have a couple other accessories in their shop this little golf ball um, suction cup thing is super cute and I'll show you that in a second and then they have this little handle to help pick up your rulers from the mat okay I think that's all of the little accessories let's go ahead and unroll my mat so my table is about 47 by um, I think 78 is what it is. So this mat is just a little bit smaller than my table. Woo! There she goes. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it over. There we go. And as you can see, this actually covers up the majority of my table. I will typically leave it clear down here on the corner like this, and then I have a little bit of edge over there and I have a little bit of edge on that far edge down there. So I keep this little mug rug I made right here. And then I've got my little trash can. These are both free tutorials on my channel. And then sometimes I'll put my mat on here. I'm not gonna do it right this second. Ugh. But I am gonna grab my Juki and set her right here. And then my extension table goes right here. And I'm ready to sew. So here's what the cutting surface looks like up close and it's just a nice clean white color and then it's got these really crisp uh, blue lines on it so it's really easy to see and then every other inch is these dashed lines so that's really helpful. Um, the even inches are the solid lines and then the odd are the dash. So that's really helpful when you are uh, just needing to cut different sizes or if you're cutting yardage. So every mat is going to come with these two items and then they do have a couple other little accessories in your, their shop that you can grab. So this cute little golf ball with a suction cup comes on the back and you can use that on your rulers or you can put it on your little scraper and it just makes it kind of nice to hang on to. And then they have this one for rulers as well. And let me grab my ruler so you can kind of see. But you can kind of just press that down on your ruler and then it just makes it really easy to pick up your ruler. I know these rulers can kind of be hard to pick up sometimes and I'm sliding them off the table trying to pick them up. It's not super um, steady so you don't really want to be pressing down on it while you're cutting but it is handy to just lift up your rulers. And then here is that ruler um, stabilizer that I told you about and it just has this little double stick tape on the back so you just take off the back. So I would be really careful <laughs> using this the first time. It's super tacky um, and I did get it stuck to my rotary cutting surface. So I think I'd almost like you know kind of touch it a little bit to get rid of some of that tack first so that it doesn't just get super stuck to your uh, surface but then you can lay it down um, and then you can have that on you know a line so you know it's straight and then you can line up your ruler next to that and then when you're cutting your fabric you know you're cutting straight. I just don't use it that frequently but one other cool way you can use this is you can place it at the bottom of your mat so it's flush with your mat and then you can place your ruler right up next to that and then any way you need to cut you know that your line is going to be straight with the mat and so this would be helpful if you're cutting yardage um, or anything like that you can just stick this to you could even stick this to your table if you were doing a lot of yardage cutting and then when you go to cut your yardage you can just butt your ruler right up against that now cutting on this surface is just like cutting on any other surface. Um, I do recommend the Ulfa blades for this particular cutting mat. The blades are nice and thin. You don't want something with a really thick blade or I mean it's just not going to roll very nicely because I think the first thing you're going to find out is this surface is really smooth. So it's not like tacky and rubbery like a traditional rotary cutting surface. Um, it's really smooth and you're going to be cutting really fast. So I'm just going to hold down my ruler open my blade and then just cut. I didn't have to push very hard and I've got a really nice clean cut and there's not any lines or anything that got put in to my cutting mat. So that's really nice. Now there's a little bit of red on there. Um, it's actually just fuzz from the fabric. It's not actually down inside my mat. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can always just take your little ball here, scraper and just scrape it and that'll help clean off your mat. Okay. So that's basically how you cut on it, just like anything else. These are my favorite ones to use. They also recommend, I think on their website, the kind where you can loosen your blade. So on the back of these Ulfa rotary blades, this one is the quick release. So in order to release it, you just pop it on and off. So I can't really loosen this blade. But on the back of here, there is a little screw and you can just loosen your blade a little bit so it just will glide a little bit easier. And then when you're cutting your fabric, 
it just rolls right across that tabletop. So um, if you're gonna be using this, they do recommend something like this where you can loosen your blade. But on my old one, I used this one for years and I never really had any issues with it as long as I kept my blade sharp. And then hopefully you can see these on the camera here, but it does have these diagonal 45 degree lines going both directions. So that can be really helpful when you're squaring up a block. And then one other cool feature of this mat is that they have the measurements going both directions. So if you're starting at this end, you've got your one, two, three, four, five, six. If you were starting at the other end and coming this way, you've got the measurements in the opposite direction and then it's the same for the side ones. And that's really helpful, especially because I tend to work on my whole table. I walk around from all different angles. I stand on this side over here and cut from here. I stand on this side over here and cut from over here. And sometimes I'm even cutting from this edge. So it kind of depends on how big my project is, but I really like that I can have measurement marks on both sides. That way I can kind of tell no matter which way my mat is facing, I can tell what inch marker I'm on. And then my other, of course, favorite thing about it is that it just looks so nice and clean on my table. It almost covers my entire work surface so it keeps it nice and protected. I can really make use of the majority of my table and it kind of just goes with my white vibe I have going on in my sewing room. All right guys, that is my new cutting mat. I'm so excited to have this. I've had one, like I said, for about, I wanna say like three years or so. It's been my all time favorite cutting mat. I love that it's huge. I don't have to be moving a tiny cutting mat around on my table and trying to find it under all my fabric. Just my entire work surface is now my cutting mat. It also protects my table because I do all kinds of things on this table. And so it just really keeps the table nice and clean. And like I said, it fits my table really well as well. So they have a variety of different sizes on their website. I will put a link on where you can get the big mat rotary cutting surfaces below. They do ship, um, so you can definitely get it in your area. And they also go to a lot of trade shows. So if you get quilting trade shows in your area, you can definitely go and check that out. Check out the vendor list and see if they're on there. And then you can go and see these in person. So I love my new cutting mat. I'm super happy to have it. And now I can go ahead and get sewing. Looks like Jax approves as well. And I almost forgot, I am gonna be doing a giveaway for one of these mats for you guys. So do me a favor, head on over to the big mat rotary cutting surface website website. Look at all the different sizes that they have. Check them out on Facebook as well. They do some cool things on Facebook and then come back here and leave a comment on this video letting me know what size you would want if you won. So your ultimate size for cutting mat or your favorite size of cutting mat, whatever that is, leave that in the comments below and I will pick one winner and we'll ship out a big mat rotary cutting surface to you. If you like this video, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know to keep making fun videos for you. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Look at this, it's huge. I'm super excited. I'm gonna put it right here because I cannot hold it. Pick your mat up off the table. I know those mats are nice, or not the mat. <laughs> Struggles. Oh my gosh, I can't get this off. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, okay, this is a lot. Sorry, camera, you're gonna need to get moved.